59% win ratio. Second to none. Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. Uh, Going to carry on with the Timber Show Challenge today. It's the Swin and Save on Football Manager 2017. And uh, today's episode, we are going to take on Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. And then we're going to take on Fleetwood Town. So two more League One games for you today. But we're going to start off by showing you the goals from the games I played off screen, as I always do. Only one goal scored against Southend United, scored by Jermaine Hilton in the 76th minute. Long ball found him 1-1 one -on -one with the keeper, and he shot past him and scored. And it was Southend nil, Swindon 1. In the game at home against Bradford, Swindon won a penalty with 31 minutes played as Branker was fouled in the box by Meredith. Yasser Kazim would step up to take the penalty, but it was a save by goalkeeper Doyle, keeping Bradford in the game. We had to wait until 80 minutes to actually break the deadlock, and it was Sean Murray's deflected effort that went in, and it was 1-0 with 80 minutes on the clock. With Bradford looking for an equaliser, we attacked at the other end, and uh, Murray scored in the 88th minute to make it 2-0. Murray with two goals in the last 10 minutes to give us a 2-0 win over Bradford City. In the FA Cup second round game at Crinkton Stanley, Swindon took the lead with 7 minutes on the clock, Obika setting up Nathan Delfonso for a goal. Five minutes later, it was 2-0, this time Jordan Stewart with the assist, but the same goal scorer, Delfonso with the second of the game. In the 22nd minute, a Jordan Stewart corner found its way onto the head of Lloyd Jones, the uh, Liverpool Loney scorer, making it 3-0. 35 minutes into the game, at Crinkton Stanley did pull a goal back as Clark's finish uh, was... Unstoppable by Will Henry, 3-1. Things got nervous in the second half, 47 minutes in, Atkins and Stanley scored a second goal and could have caused an upset, but could not manage more than two goals. It ended at Crinkton 2, Swindon 3, and saw us through to the third round of the FA Cup. In the EFL Trophy game against the Swansea Under-21s, uh, the Swansea team took the lead, eight minutes in, Owen Jones with a finish. In the second half, Swindon did get an equaliser, Jonathan Obika scoring a fantastic finish in the 56th minute. And then 10 minutes later, it was a 2-1 and a winner by Obika this time. And uh, it finished Swindon 2 and the Swansea under 23s won, sending us through to round 3 of the EFL Trophy. So we're in really good form, we're doing really really well, unbeaten in our last 8 games overall competitions. Only lost a few games all season, I uh, mean 4 competitive games all season. And three League One games and one game in the uh, EFL Cup where QPR knocked us out. So we're playing really well. We're doing well. And as far as the table goes, we're actually top, but only just. Just on goal difference. Level on points with Scunthorpe. Uh, I've signed a new contract as well. Signed a one-year extension. So uh, progression in the Cup means that we have some uh, ties for the future round. So the FA Cup third round. And we could have had a big team in this one because you've got all the Premier League teams. Instead, we've got an away game against Yeovil. So hopefully we should win that. Uh, and in the EFL Trophy third round of the South Division, we've got Barnet. So a couple of League 2 teams, which isn't too bad, but they're away games. So that could be a stumbling block, but hopefully we'll come out of those with wins and get further in those competitions. But we're focusing on League 1, we are facing Sheffield United in our first game, who are in the wrong end of the table, we're down in 18th place. Now they've got, they've got a narrow diamond, so do we play the same thing? They've got Conor Randall at right back, who I think is another Liverpool loanee. We have Bradley Barry injured. I played him for the past couple of games. He's done. He's been hit and miss, but he's he's injured today, so we will bring Furlon back in. Uh, I think we also have an injury to Jay De Silva. We do indeed. The um, the Chelsea loan is going to be out for three to four weeks with a sprained ankle. So a couple of injuries to defenders, but I think we should get by okay. All right, I think this is the team we're going to go with. So not quite a narrow diamond. We're going to play a four-one-three-two with Kasim playing as the uh, not a roaming playmaker. I want him as a regista. That's what I want. Uh, Murray is the advanced playmaker. He's got Doughty to his left and McAllister to his right. I'm going to make Doughty a box-to-box. -box, just make a little change there. But yeah, that's the team we're going to go with. We're in good spirits. We're doing well. So um, yeah, we're, I'm happy with this so far. In fact, do we start Delfonso? He did really well 
when he played against Accrington. So we're actually going to start Delfonso and Hilton. Vigor is back and got Vigor actually he did suffer an injury in one game only a minor one and it was I think it was a finger injury a stub finger or something so he did he did miss a couple of games Will Henry played in the uh, Bradford game but didn't have a lot to do there so that was all right and he played against Accrington Stanley as well so uh, we're getting some other goalkeepers involved as well I think Dale Eve played a game as well I think he played in the previous FA Cup game which was against the um the National League South side here was it um Concord. Okay, so let's have a look at Sheffield United's team. Then they've got more Freeman, Wilson, Ebanks, Landell, uh, Connor Randall. I mentioned before, uh, Chris Basham up top. They've got uh, Billy Sharp. Uh, they've got Leon Clark on the bench. They've got who they got? Long Isala, uh, Mock Duffy, Matthew Dunn, James Wallace. I don't know a great deal of these players. A few players I know. Billy Sharp, of course. Familiar face, you know, he's been around the divisions quite a lot. Chris Basham used to play for Bolton a while ago, I think, like a few years ago. And Randall, I know well, you know, he's a Liverpool loney. A couple of players seem motivated. We'll go some individual team talks as well. Let's see what we get. That's all right. Let's start the match. Let's get on with it. I like a nice big win here. You know, 3 0. Let's go for a 3 0 win. Bit of a long shot, seeing as we are away from home, but we'll give it a go. We have plenty of possession. We've got a really good possession game going at the moment. We're passing the ball really well. We're just kind of struggling in the goals front at the moment. Um, James Broke with a free kick here. And it is headed clear by Evax Liddell. And then Reed passes to uh, Billy Sharp. Needs a bit of help here. And he's uh, trying to find Clark. That's a good clearance by James Brophy. And now Doughty plays Hilton through. Hilton's got some work to do here. But he puts a shot away. And it's a good save by the goalkeeper Moore. We've won a corner. But that was a good piece of football there. We just lacked a bit on the goals front, you know, there's been some poor performances up front, especially from Luke Norris. He's had a really poor run of form, not scored a lot of goals. Abika's done all right, I think he's got 10, as has Delfonso. Uh, Hilton suffered a bit of an injury, but he's come back. He has scored one goal since then, he scored against Southend. See if we can get some more goals for him. So, uh, yeah, I just want to try and get a few more goals. Again, a lot of 6-6s six in this team. We're not really creating very much, which I'm going to say, I'm going to say get creative in our little team talk. Try and find a way through. The half time. It is 1 0. Uh, 1 0, I wish. It's 0 0. Um, we can still win this. Keep working hard and calm. And then I'm just going to passionately say, you, got, you can make a difference today. So go out there and do it. We know you're capable. So just do it. Quoting the, um, the legendary. You know, I had a complete mental block and I could not remember his name. Shia LaBeouf. How could I not remember his name? That's just... Oh, God, okay. Fail by me. I'm not remembering that. But there you go. Uh, goal... Uh, free kick. I'm having a mare today. It's a free kick. Sheffield United are coming forward a bit. They're coming into the game. And that is a good clearance there by Thompson and Reed. Now to Connor Randall. And, um... Was that, was that a cross? I don't know. What's just happened? What just happened... I swear Thompson just stopped dead on the ball. Luckily, Sheffield didn't score from it, but I've got no idea what just happened. And uh, we are not really in the game at the moment. We've not had a shot yet this half. I've gone attacking. I'm going to make a substitution in midfield. Sean Murray's been very quiet today, which is not like him at all. We are going to bring him off, and we are... Well, I was going to say I was going to put <laughs> Jordan Stewart on the bench, but he's not on the bench, so uh, we can't do that. What we'll do instead is... Do you know what? I don't know. What do I do instead? No, we'll leave Sean Murray on, but we'll just play him a bit further forward. Try and link the midfield in the attack a bit better. But I am going to take off Delfonso and bring on a beaker. I don't know why I didn't bring him on, actually. He scored two goals in the last game. I'm going to go back into my team talk and demand more. Because this isn't going well today. It's not really it's not really happened for us. Only, only well, six shots now. But we haven't really seen much much, much in terms of highlights for, for, for either team. But here we go, Brophy with a throw in, and uh, Chris Basham has one possession, and now Branko to Doughty. Here is Yasir Kassim, back to James Brophy. Abika, you have to score, and he does. And that is 1-0. We're going to bring it back to standard now that we are in the lead. And uh, yeah, that's what we needed to do. And we have, uh, well, we stay top. But, um, MK Dons have jumped to second, so it doesn't look like Scunthorpe will win him. Unless they're not playing. But uh, Abika, he was six yards out, and uh, yeah, chance was taken, and it's 1-0. Sheffield United could be going for an equaliser here. Here's Reed, and it is an equaliser. It was Duffy at the far post. Thompson 
with some uh, odd defending. I'll have to see it in 3D because uh, Nathan Thompson looked very suspect there. We will see it again. It was Usala with the ball, passed to Reed, and then Thompson, but well, we just watched it really. Uh, Duffy at the far post was completely unmarked. And it's 1-1, so that's a disappointing. We've uh, immediately been pegged back, pretty much. Jermaine Hilton's had a very quiet game again. Uh, so we are going to bring on Norris. I want to see something from you, Norris. Come on. We are going to go assertive and say, there's a lot more to come from you. You've got what it takes. He seems to be in a positive mood. That's a good sign. Both strikers have been changed. Murray, again, Murray's had a quiet one. Here we go, Randall throwing. Please don't take the lead, Sheffield. Oh, it's done. It literally is done. Matty done. Well, uh, as we say, I wanted a 3-0 win here. We are losing 2-1. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the Blades have cut us open twice. Nathan Thompson has scored a 5.5. That's not good. So, Although, I think... He'd be, he'd be better played where Branko is because I think um, I think I've got the defensive roles mixed up. One's a ball player stopper and one's just a central defender, so I think I've messed up so as well. But there is a chance at the end of the game here, maybe Norris is dispossessed by Randall, and there's only a few seconds left. Maybe one more chance for a goal. Um, no, I haven't played a good team here. I mean, why is McAllister playing? I really did not look at who I was playing. We lost two one to Sheffield United. I think that's partly my fault. But I am still going to slag off the team. That wasn't good enough. Thompson, I think he made, a, he made a couple of mistakes today. Dropping your performance in the second half was unacceptable. And we didn't really control midfield either. I'm, that was not very good. MK Dons have gone top. They beat Wimbledon 2-1. Scunthorpe lost, so we are still level on points with them. And they lost by more than we did. And Ox Oxford are dropping off as well. They started off really well. They'd only lost one game. They've lost two in... Pretty quick succession, actually. And they lost at home as well. But that's disappointing on my part. I I think I've messed up as just as much as my players have there. But I didn't really look at the team I was playing. I, I'd rotated for the cup games, and I don't think I'd change back. So, uh, yeah. Thompson's 150th career, career game for the club. And, uh, yeah, he, um, he had a really bad game. We've got Fleetwood next. Fleetwood are quite close to us, I think. I think they're about fifth. Actually, I just remembered. We just lost to Sheffield United. And uh, they had a new manager. Literally, like, days before, uh, Billy Davis was brought in as manager. So, uh, I guess that's what, that's the, the new manager thing, isn't it? The new manager effect. If you've got a new manager, sometimes you might have to do absolute shite. But, you know, you get a new manager, you start playing well. Look at Marco Silva and Hull. Look how Hull are playing now. So, uh, maybe that's what's, what's happened with Sheffield United. Maybe Billy Davis is going to lift him off the bottom half of the table. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happened there. Uh, new manager, and they beat us. All right, at home against Fleetwood. Now, changes are going to be made. Right, McAllister's going to come off. Uh, or we're going to start Connor Thomas. Um, defenders, yeah, right. So those two are going to get swapped around. Right, we're going to go with... The Beaker and Delfonso up top. Uh, Thomas... Uh, we need Jordan Stewart on the bench. Let's do that. In fact, let's start Jordan Stewart, actually. We're, we're going to drop Murray after his poor performance in the last game. So we will do that. Uh, let's get Murray on the bench. We will get rid of... Uh, we'll get rid of McAllister. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll change you back to a register. Uh, with the rest of that, I'm fine with. Uh, Stewart's going to start. We'll have those two up top. Uh, yeah, let's, let's give that a try. Uh, now our team instructions. Let's have a look at these. We're good. Right, so let's try and pass in this space instead. We won't play out of defence. Clear the ball to the flanks. Go for the early crosses as well. Let's try and, let's try and whip them in. And uh, let's turn up the tempo a bit. Let's try, let's try that. Let's try and speed up the play. Try and catch out their defenders. Score goals. Fleetwood Town. They are fifth. So uh, this is going to be a hard one. But let's have a look at their team. Uh, they are playing a 4-1-2-3, essentially. Uh, Neil, Bell, Pond, Easton, McLaughlin, uh, Ryan, Brown, Dempsey, Walford, Cole, and Long. No players that I immediately recognise there. So, um, yeah, again. Don't know a lot of League One players, so uh, I can't really tell you much about their teams. Uh, we are the favourites. Let's, uh, yeah, get out there and impress me. Okay. People looking delighted. Let's just try and add to that team talk. That's alright, I'll take that. Uh, let's crack on. Let's start the match. 
I don't know if we should go fluid or stri- I'm going to play fluid. Let's try that. I don't want to go with a flexible shape. Let's try something fluid. Get people involved. Uh, so far, again, plenty of possession, but it doesn't help when you score goals. It stops them scoring goals. Theoretically, if you've got the ball, they can't score, but you need to score yourself. We've had three shots. We haven't seen any of them yet, 20 minutes in. It'd be nice to be able to, but obviously they're not that threatening. Very average performances. So, oh, here we go. Free kick by Yase Kasim. Oh, it's been headed onto the post. I think it was by Delfonso. That was a good chance, and we hit the world bike with it. But we're going to go in a half time goalless. Uh, offer some encouragement, yes. Do it for the fans. Let's try that. No green in there, but never mind. Say you weren't that bad, because you weren't. You weren't terrible. Just haven't scored yet. There we go. Start the second half. Still controlling the game. Plenty of possession. Fleetwood haven't had a shot yet. I mean, we've we've limited them. We just haven't scored ourselves. If we get M FM tier, like last episode, we got a little bit FM. It was a mini FM. But if we don't win this game, if we lose this game, Fleetwood not having a single shot yet, I'm going to be livid. Here's a beaker, and now Connor Thomas and Delfonso. Now, can we score from this? Jordan Stewart, he has to. Yes, he does. 48 minutes in, we've got our first goal. Jordan Stewart scores it. And that is 1-0. Connor Thomas passing to uh, Delfonso and a nice pass to Jordan Stewart who pokes it home. The keeper didn't really do much to stop it. That's what I want to see. Get another goal and I'll be happy. You know, let's try and... Let's not have, like, a, a, an episode where we don't win a game. Have we had one of those yet? I don't know if we have. Uh, Dempsey clears the ball here. Here's Jakubiak. They've made a sub because he was on the bench. So substitutions have been made. But Doubt has committed a foul there and he's been given a straight red card. Doubtish has been sent off, 51 minutes in. Uh, that is a big miss. Uh, I didn't really see the foul. Right, so what do we do here? Do we go for one striker? Do we get rid of Stewart? Right, I'm going to play D'Alfonso as an advanced playmaker. I'm going to bring off a beaker and play him level with Thompson. And we're going to bring on Sean Murray. We'll play him as the advanced playmaker. No, yeah. No, deep line playmaker on support. So we're going to go essentially with a narrow diamond but with one striker. But uh, we've got a red card with, um, who was it? It was, who even was it? It was Doughty, wasn't it? Which is a shame because he's, he's one of our good players as well. Uh, we're going to go back to standard. I'm not going to go defensive or contain. We're going to go back to standard. Fleet would have had their first shot in the game. Got a lot of people forwards, which is a bit worrying. But here's Delfonso. And now Thomas. Here is Murray. Stewart. Delfonso to Thomas. Passing well here. Jordan Stewart's in. And how could you miss that? Last 10 minutes of the game. We do have two more subs to make. We are going to take off Yasir Kasim because he's getting a bit tired out there. Uh, we're going to play Thomas just a bit deeper. We're going to bring on Neil Bishop. Play Thomas as a, just a, as, as a defensive midfielder. Murray. Plays it long, but delfonso has got a lot of work to do to get to that. And he doesn't get to it, but he's just nicked the ball off of Bell. And the, the shot was saved. We've been, well, we've been gifted an opportunity there, but we did not take it. And uh, heading into injury time now, we've got one more change we can make. I'm going to take off Jordan Stewart. Let's just get one more defender on. Let's just bring on Lloyd-Jones. Uh, we're on defensive, so yeah, we should be able to hold on. There's only a minute left. Bit annoyed about the red card, but um, yeah, this is going to be full time. Any second. Any second. There we go. Swindon 1, Fleetwood 0. Would I like to bigger win margin, but it's a win nonetheless. Uh... And a shame about the red card as well. Okay, so at least we did win our second game. So that's a plus after losing against Sheffield United. So, uh, yeah, we do go back on top of the table. We're one point clear of the MK Dons, two clear of Scunthorpe, and three clear of Oxford. So, uh, it's not too bad. We're top of the table. Yes, next episode, Shrewsbury and Bolton will be the games. And, uh, yeah, if that had been an FA Cup tie against a big team, I would have done that. But it's only Yeovil. Sorry, Yeovil fans. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, leave any comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode for two more League One games, and we will actually be in January by then, so that's exciting. We could see some more signings. But I will see you then. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.